First, before we start this video, I want to tell you that if you're looking to get a discount on any of your profile purchases, you can look in the link in the description down below. It'll get you 10% off any of your profile purchases. And you can go and follow me on twitch.tv slash perfectsgaming. I stream four to five days a week. And there may be a nice giveaway coming up soon. All right, let's start with the video. Hey guys, Parfax here. Today I'm bringing you a video on two different things that can help you out while playing profile that you might not know about. All right, let's get started. So first, as you can see here, I'm on the page called Crocane Builds. And essentially what this is, is it's just a um, Crowfall builder that you can go and build your classes. It'll show you what disciplines you can use. It'll show you the stats that you have. It'll basically just show you everything you need to know about your build, it'll help you theorycraft, and it'll help you if you wanna show somebody your build, you can very easily use this to do that. So let's kind of make up just some fun mock-up build, and we'll just talk about it from there. So up here on the left, you can see it'll allow you to change any of the classes. We'll go Ranger, we'll go Human, even though I think Human is the worst race for a Ranger, but we're gonna do it. So let's do, we always get the first four nodes, or these four nodes right here. Not always, but for the most part you do, especially on the Ranger. Then let's just do this. We'll go down to Brigan, and let's just go Dark. And we have what, probably one skill point left. You see up here, it'll show you how many skill points you have left. We have one. Um, let's go Forest Step. Okay. And this isn't a build that, don't worry, this is not like, I'm not doing any specific build. We're just... You know messing around here and then you can see over here it'll give us our stats and now the big thing is the disciplines so when you come down here it shows that i can have two majors and three minors now we get three minors because we are a human it is one of our passives so if you're not using a human if you're using something like a wood elf minotaur elkin you'll only see two down here but if you use half elf or human you'll be able to see three it tells you how many miners and majors you can have so we're gonna go brigand we're gonna i mean corrupted soul i mean come on you guys know i love this this discipline it's like my favorite discipline corrupted soul uh master sword sure and then we'll go down here to uh fortified stakes then hunter oh we need we got one more we got one more and critical dodge so now that we have that it'll reflect it over here on the right you'll see our stats it'll give us um our critical chance critical healing now the one thing to keep note here is it does put in the actual bonuses here but uh remember that when you actually put this on yourself that these bonuses won't be there until you start getting up to start leveling up your discipline so that 50 attack power five range uh two percent slashing bonus 300 slashing resistance two percent critical strike chance two percent critical strike chance and two percent movement speed in combat will not actually show until you level up your discipline and uh, it'll just slowly go from there these are legendary stats that it's showing right now so your stats will be a little bit different in game but this allows you to do a lot of fun things it allows you to build a bunch of builds and you can kind of see your stats you can kind of go through the tree, see how it works out. Uh, on stream the other day, we spent about like 30 minutes mocking up a ranger build, and uh, it was a ton of fun. One thing also to note when you're using this specific tool is that when you go through and let's say you wanna just get dark, it's not like Path to Exile where I can just click this and it'll go, it'll path the closest to it. Uh, you do have to do each individual node same thing with when you're deselecting points if i want to go here it won't let me deselect them left clicking it nothing's happening you have to individually go and deselect all of your points so this is a very cool tool i use it quite often and it's pretty insane now if you go swap to wood elf your disciplines will be a little bit different it will take away whatever disciplines you would have for human it'll swap it over to wood elf and then you can play with it from there 
You can also use Cropedia in game. I use it absolutely all the time. If you don't know, if you hit your T for talent, or if you don't have it up, you can hit like K and you can bring it up that way. Um, that'll bring up your skills. Well, I guess not really. So if you hit I and then go to your talents. But anyway, if you hit T, which is the default, it'll bring up your talents. In the bottom right, it'll say Cropedia. And you can go and check out all the disciplines. And if you click the icon up top, so like if you go all the way over to domain and go to dark, if you click on dark, it'll bring all of the dark um, disciplines up to the top, the majors and minors, so you can kind of see it really quickly and it really helps you out. So that's the first thing. This We use this all the time. It's really good. I've used it in a couple of my build videos. I know I put it in the barb video. I originally didn't. Uh, I had then there had to add it in later, but we use this quite all the time, and it is it is pretty cool and pretty fun. Next, we have crowbars. Now, crowbars is something that people typically use for raids and stuff like that. But this is also a great tool if you're looking to test different builds and test different um, skills. So essentially, what this is this is a DPS parser. It'll show your damage output, your DPS per second. Well, DPS does literally stand for damage per second. Uh, how much damage you've taken, how much healing you've done, how much healing you've received, your heals per second, the duration, your crit rate. It'll show every opponent that you hit. It'll show every skill that you hit. Um, I believe it'll show if you go in detail what skills you were hit with, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. I never really used it that way. You can change the colors. You can really customize it the way you want. But the great thing about this is if you're in a group and you can set up a raid, there's a little button that has, um, let's see if we can see it on here. There's more. Uh, raid should be right next to this more. I don't see it on here. Now, this is like a very older version of it. Um, this is from 2019. But, yeah, because like right here, shows how many people. But you can get into a raid, you can set a code. You can set it as, I don't know, one, two, three. And then people can join into that raid by putting, typing in one, two, three, joining raid. And then the statistic over here of how many people you've hit or people that have hit you, that will actually go into the actual raid tool. And even if you didn't hit them, they will show you. So, if, you know, we use this a lot for to see numbers. So if we're doing big raid versus raid, we go in and we know we have 34 and on our parser, we see 52. That means there's 52 enemies. Now you do have to watch because it will put regular mobs in there as well. So if I go and I attack and we're at a camp and, or let's say an outpost and we attack and it says 52, but there was actually five mobs there. It will put those five mobs in there as the 52. So you do have to go through that. But um, this is a great tool to use. I will put a link in the description down below to both Crocane and Crowbars. They're very useful. We use them pretty much every day. I don't use Crocane every day, um, but we do use Crowbars in every one of our big guild stuff. I think all the big guilds do. It's a very well-known um, tool, at least when it comes to a lot of the, um, the guilds that have been around for a while, but it's something that if you aren't using is really good for, even if you're not raiding, if you're just out there trying to test abilities, and it's a great way to see if a skill's bugged. If you think a skill's maybe not doing what it's supposed to this can help you out doing it all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you guys can at least use one of these two different websites slash add-ons uh i think crow bars is the only actual add-on in the game currently um maybe there'll be more but i hope you guys enjoyed this video the link in the description will be for both of those so you can hopefully get some use out of them all right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.